Today on Ballistic Burgers, we are going to <laughs> we are going to be cooking up the bourbon. What did I call it? The, the double double, double smashed with bourbon the, burger. The double smashed bourbon burger, and I'm going to be cooking it with my buddy CJ here from Cooking with CJ. What's up, everybody? So glad you're here with me today. This is freaking awesome, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Let's do it. So before we get going with this cook, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and please check out both of CJ's channels. He has Cooking with CJ and CJQ. CJ's Q. CJ's Close Q. enough. <laughs> He's going to change the name to CJQ. I'm going to change it to CJQ just for him. <laughs> I'm horrible with names. Anybody that knows me will attest to the fact that I'm terrible with names. Anyway, CJ's Q. And... He's the reason for this burger. He kind of gave me a little bit of a challenge. Yes, sir. Tell me what that challenge was. Listen, everybody, I despise condiments, all right? Mayo, mustard, ma uh, uh, relish, ketchup, any of that stuff, to me, it ruins the burger. So my challenge to the Burger King right here, um, you're not a Burger King, you know, Burger Master? It sounds better than Burger King. <laughs> Uh, is to make a burger with no condiments whatsoever on it, but it's got to be fat like me, delicious like me, and good looking like him, all right? Some people might disagree with that. <laughs> We're going to kick this off with, it's not a sauce. We're going to, it's no basically sauces. going to be a bourbon infused bacon and caramelized onion blob. <laughs> I like it. That that is We're going to... What do we got to do? Bacon in? So CJ's going to start out by putting how much bacon is that? So five slices of bacon, cube, uh, sliced up, diced up. I'll put those in. So we're going to get the bacon kind of crisp and, you know, get that fat rendered out. There's nothing better than bacon rendering. Morning, noon, or night. Flavors are insane. All right, as you can see, the bacon's all rendered, getting nice and golden brown. We're going to add... This is about one medium sweet onion. It's been kind of roughly sliced, but it's really thin slices. Yeah. We're gonna get those in there, just get them stirred up, get them breaking down, break, broken down. Broken down. We wanna get them nice and caramelized. And then the jalapenos. Let's go ahead and throw those in. This is about three quarters of a, it was a pretty large jalapeno. You know, seeds and a, all? Yeah, there's a few seeds in there, not a whole lot. We're just gonna kind of amp up. We're, we're going for layers of flavor in this concoction. Dude, I love it. All right, so these are gonna sweat down, cook down, total. Yeah, total well, yeah. I want to get them to where they start to take on that nice kind of a brown color. Oh. And then we're gonna kick it up another notch. Kick it up a notch. I love it. Man, it's looking <laughs> good. All right, as you can see, these onions are looking awesome. Now we're gonna kick it up, like I said, a few notches. Go ahead and add some of that bourbon in there. And uh, you add about as much as you think, but probably a couple ounces. All right. And we could probably flambe this if you wanted. You think? All right. There you go. Woo, Nelly. You don't have a beard anymore. Or eyebrows. Good, man. <laughs> I dig it. Dig it, brother. All right. Let's go ahead and add uh, about a half a teaspoon or so of this is apple cider vinegar. We're gonna get some again some layers of flavors. We got some sweet in there. We got some savory. Like I said, we're adding layers here. That's the acid. Let's go ahead and put some sugar in there. All right. We have some Demerara sugar. I don't know, good. Another, like I said, half a teaspoon or so. All right. So it's gonna have to help temper out that that heat from the jalapenos. That looks good. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, that looks good. All right, good, good. Get that stirred up. All right. Guys, the flavors here are going to blow your mind for sure, 100%. Not even lying. You can trust us. We know. And it's like bathing us oh, yeah. in that, oh, yeah. that smell. It's time to cook some burgers. Yes, sir. So as you can see, we're using a very little Blackstone grill here. And I'm not judging you. I feel judged. <laughs> it's like 17 inches, but perfect for like a small family. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, because I don't have all the real estate that I'm used to, I'm gonna go ahead and toast those buns up first. Let's lay down some butter. All right, these guys are done. 
80 20 ground chuck. Yeah. It's about four ounce balls. I didn't weigh these, but I'm pretty good with eyeing this. It's about four ounces each, uh, each meatball. Old smasher. Look at that. Put some effort in that bad boy right there. About 10 seconds each each smash. Let it hit you guys. Just let it hit you. Look gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right a little bit of kosher salt. Beautiful, beautiful. Get some pepper. Oh. A little fresh ground pepper. Fresh crack bag, never hurt anybody. Right, you can see the holes forming, the steam coming out. Top of the burgers are kind of moistening up. We're gonna go ahead and flip these bad boys. Let's see the crust. Nice. This is medium cheddar cheese. It's not sharp cheddar cheese. This is for all you people that actually hate American cheese, which we're, some, bo we're both fans. Yeah, there's something wrong with you. You don't like that American cheese. The hate you get using American know, cheese, brother. Funny. I always point out, though, that some of the best burgers, some of the most iconic burgers, at least in the United States, and I've noticed actually across the globe, uh, they're using American cheese. The key is to buy the good American cheese, not the right. stuff that's individually wrapped in plastic, the, the deli slices. I have a video on how to make American cheese. I'll have it right up here. All right, cheese is looking good. Go ahead and double this up. Look at that. Put this burger down. See, those are hogs. Look at that. That's a lot of meat. I'm going to go ahead and top it with that beautiful sauce, or not a sauce, what do we call it? A glop? The glop, glop of goodness. The mush. Glop of goodness. I like that. And if it don't get everywhere, are you even trying? Want to do the honors and crown those bad boys? Hell yeah, I do. Pow! Look at that. <laughs> you got to do this. You got to smash it down. Get a wiggle in a little, little bit. Wiggle. All right, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Looking good. I love it. All right, and I present to you the Double Smash Bourbon Bacon Cheeseburger. I dig it. I was going to call it the CJ Burger. <laughs> Let's go for it, brother. All right, I'm excited. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, this is. Uh, we go how big we can go. This is a mouthful. Mm. <laughs> oh, hot. <laughs> so there's a lot of meat there, and that's the first thing that's really hitting me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the beef? I think really one patty. I think maybe would have been a little better. I think yeah. two patties was overkill. Needed just one. Um, I really like this. Hold on. I like this stuff. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> that topping we came up with, and when you eat it by itself, you can actually pick up the bourbon. Yeah. But it's got a nice balance. There's not a lot of heat. I was actually expect expecting a little bit more. I agree. And I think maybe if we ate more of it, we'd eventually get some more of that jalapeno heat. Um, but it's good. I think next time, one patty, Kick up the jalapeno. Yep. 
and uh, got a good burger. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for coming out, man. Anyway, guys, again, check out both of CJ's channels. I will have links down below. Great guy, great cook, great videos. Give him a little love. Keep the suggestions coming in. Awesome. See, oh, what are we drinking? We're drinking classic Pacifico. Yeah, we're SoCal. Why not? SoCal special. See you on the next video. Cheers, y'all. Take care.